Ah, there we are. Hopefully we can see everything. And you can hear me. I don't really know how to do this sort of thing, but I've been wanting to do it for a while, so no time like the present. I am um, just drawing in my book here. I um a an altar that I can travel with. So it would just be in my book. I'm gonna try to avoid moving my sketchbook as much as possible. I know, and then I move it immediately, eh? I'm just using uh, these regular Sharpie pens. I've been wanting to do YouTube for a really long time. Kept putting it off because I was scared. Scared of comments, scared of, you know, every YouTuber talks about the type of um, hate that they get. That's really, that's really scary, you know. Everybody has something happening in their lives and it doesn't seem right. But anyway, I finally decided to do it because... You know, I'm just going to keep wishing I had and I'm going to uh, color this in after I'm done. My country's going down into lockdown again because of the panini, so I've been trying to focus this area of my life on self-care because I've been really burnt out and something I've been really bad at is doing art. It seems to be the easiest thing for me to put at the bottom of my list. And if I have learned anything about myself is that it's actually really important for me to be drawing. It just releases those feel-good hormones, you know? This skeleton is not going to necessarily be... Uh, Accurate, but that's okay. My pen doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do. I'm not used to drawing with my book upside right like this. Let's go for the candle here on the side. I've been getting really serious about my practice in the last, um, I've been doing it a while, but like super serious the last couple months since, um, August, I would say. There was a lot of transition in my life, a lot of uncertainty, my youngest going to school, I have two. And they're both in school now, and I'm just kind of wondering, you know, I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time. And figuring out who I was, <laughs> what I wanted to do and be, and trying to remember that there's some significant burnout that I need to recover from before I go do too much or too far and that is something I super have a hard time with. Okay, let's, what was I doing with these moons? I wanted the moon phases because I work with the moon a lot. Oops, luckily this is the dark moon. Uh, 
my time, my things according to what the moon cycle is, what it's doing. So, like protection spells, for example, which I'm a huge fan of. I time for either a full moon or the moon is becoming full. I like that phase because as the moon grows, I feel like power is growing. Wow, that went completely off. That's okay. As the moon grows, the power grows sort of thing. So it's like a protection spell that builds. And then every so often when I feel like it needs it, I'll put it in my window. power it back up if I feel like it's losing its thing. So what I'm going to do is put Magician and High Priestess here, but I haven't finished the pencils for those, so So my plan is just at first I was thinking like an art YouTube channel I know there's tons of them, but I need help to make myself draw. Um, as I said, it's just so easy to put the needs of everybody else ahead at all times. And the things are always so pressing. And every time I turn around, there's a new... Oops. Wow. I'm not being careful at all. There's a new panini situation, you know, and trying to figure out if or when the kids are going to be in school. I'm just going to put some sort of decoration here. I got this idea off of Pinterest because I was looking around for ways to have a travel altar that I didn't have to carry a bunch of extra stuff. And this came across and I thought this paper altar is super clever also in that not is it easy it's easy you can have it in your book of shadows um, but if you're in a situation where you cannot practice safely um, if you have to be in the closet as it were you've got this nice little book that you can use but once again it's something you do have to be careful with I come from a fundamentalist background myself I lived with some pastors and priests I was in foster care and if you're in the same type of boat that I was um, your people are going to be going through your things so you have to keep it really secretive you know you have to be sneaky so how it's gonna work is it's gonna sit up let's see if I can sit on a very tough that probably doesn't help but let's work on the downside so this the top part here is the altar that you would be looking at and the bottom part is the workspace itself so um the intention for it is that you would aim your altar in the direction that it's supposed to be aimed in so up here i have oops did i just mark on that i did up here would be north And over here, sorry I'm bumping the camera, the area that I'm working in is less than ideal. I got tired of waiting for the quote-unquote right um, materials. Now what is this symbol supposed to be doing? I didn't do something correctly. So this is north. This should be east. This is west. West is easy to remember because that's the direction of water. E is earth. Oops. 
See, when I try to draw fast, I can't make a half decent circle. And of course, each of the elements. So, swords, air, waters, cups. In the center, we have the pentagram. You'll probably see my pen flashing my, or ticking sounds. That's my pen hitting the top of my camera because as I said not very much space but that's okay we're just here to do something nice for ourselves today but yeah I've been putting this off because I was terrified of coming to the internet wow that's not a great shape start is it as you can tell I haven't been drawing Now, if I remember right, itself is fire, which means we want a wand, and then I put as a way to be different because I didn't want pentacles just all over the place, just a little leaf, and then not all these items have to be on your altar, of course. I like to have one item per, so an item for air, so like a feather, which I drew here. Um, something to do with fire, I put like a little, this is supposed to be an incense stick right here. Which is tricky because that's sort of air too, like fire. And then it's... I think it would be cool to work on drawing faster but just something that looks better now I believe see I drew this so long ago I can't even remember what my intentions were for some of this space so I see that I drew myself a little flower just have your spell materials. I think what I'm gonna do, draw my favorite flower. These guys are super easy because all you gotta do is just keep adding these little guys and eventually usually I would go and be more careful but I don't want this to be too long on you. See, a little dandelion. Super easy. And we'll even draw a little dandelion. Broken dandelion leaf. Now, I have what looks to be a cup and maybe some extra feathers maybe a rock or two I think a rock or two would be good like let's copy a rock We'll color it in later. This is just, I know it's a crystal, but 
I've been saving this for a while. Like, look how deep and purple that is. It's amethyst. Let's see, we've got a feather. We've got some smoke. We could throw a piece of Palo Santo up here. That's my favorite thing to burn, you know, during a cleanse. And then I think I have what looks to be, let's move that down. There we go. And what I like about these shells is not only does it reference water, but when I look at these type of shells, it looks like a shield. It's like protection. And usually there's some other items on. Oh, I forgot. Hopefully this is the right one. I still haven't memorized. Isn't that awful? So generally, there would be like a goblet, some sort of cutting blade, an FMA, but I don't like to have sharp items on my altar because my kids are always in my room and I don't want them to get hurt. So my next goal, I think... That's the phone man. We should have I see what I was doing, so this will be colored in. And I'm going to have to do the High Priest and the Magician off camera, I think. So, I want him here. These are really nice classic cards that I got when I decided to become serious about my tarot reads because I was doing other things and crafting stuff, but... And now I'm basically just... Oh, here she is. Still gonna look for the magician so I don't... so I can put the rest of the cards away. See if I missed him. My next video, I think I'll try to make sure I have something like a script. I was going to do that and I just kept putting it off because I was so scared. The internet is scary and you know, I've been watching things happen and there's like some dramas happening and it's just it's so scary you don't know who you're talking to you don't know the type of comments you're gonna get you don't know the type of people you're going to attract um but it seems to me that all of us could use more community especially where there we go next time maybe we can um I can just show you all my tarot decks because they're beautiful and I know when I was going to buy my first one it was super overwhelming. There's so many like, rules as to how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so let's start with the magician. I'm left-handed so sometimes
Now, for my purposes, it's not about... Oh, that's annoying. Now it's too small. It's not necessarily about getting it exact. It's just I need enough of the idea so I know what's happening. So let's maybe let's start up here. Number one. And then we've got these flowers. Now this is how I rough a thing. And then he's got some more nice flowers. And then not that low. It's a bit higher. That's probably too steep. Really not great at the foreshortening. It's not a skill I ever quite caught on to. I'm just gonna lower that. And I'm gonna keep, this is what I like about dotted grids. It gives me something to measure against. And then, so Buddy's got his candle, he's got his hand, he's got his shoulders, so you just want to do like a, well that eight's going to need to move, but uh, he's got his other hand pointing down, and then he's got so just a sort of straight body situation, but a little bit further out. But then, so he's got the candle. <laughs> that hand doesn't look long enough, does it? Lengthen it just a bit. Let's make this face. So. I don't know, the thing on his head here, that's too high. Welcome. I will show you how to copy your picture. Okay. He's got a little... There he goes. See, the tail should be in further. We've got like a little pentacle over here. When you're drawing a circle, you can feel free to go outside, just draw lightly, and then you still have like a proper circle shape. Because it's hard to fake a circle, you know? It's. You can actually lengthen it so it looks like it's laying a little bit. Oh, I moved it over too far. You know what? We're not trying to copy the picture. I'm not going to copy too far. Okay. Um, and then we've got like some sort of staff here. And then the table legs. And then lots and lots of flowers. And the flowers being the highest about here. We've got a sword. See, it's been too long since I last drew because I have no idea what I'm doing. So something like this. He's got his little, I'm not going to worry about his face too much. And then off his shoulder just a little. He's got his little hand pointing. Okay, so now that we've got a good idea of this, 
This one's even harder. Oh, you know what I forgot? So the G is really bad. I talk to myself a lot, apparently. And <laughs> hearing my bell, sorry. My hands are really shaky. Lost my lid. See, it's not enough room. What do I do? Okay, this one's a number. Actually, I'm just gonna move it over. And then I just like to slide the underline underneath about these two filler situations. Go down. Doesn't look like we should be able. Oh, let's see. That's the problem. It doesn't go down as far as I drew it. See, it feels like it takes up so much when the card looks this small, you know? Like the base is. And then we've got. Where is this one? At. She's got these plants of some kind. She kind of looks like the Virgin Mary to me, with the especially with the cross on her. I know that's not necessarily just a Christian symbol, but her shoulders are too big. Okay. Um. My goodness, sitting, making people sit down is hard. We've got a giant, like, moon situation. She's got her hand kind of not as up as I have it, but it's, like, tucked behind her. It must be it's her little hand. She looks, <laughs> the, the crown, she kind of looks like a little, little demon. Might kind of change that one because I don't like that. And I think I've kept you long enough. Thank you for joining me. This is the first time I've drawn in several, like a year. It's been so long. Um, let me give you a full look at what we've done. If I can unclasp this. As I said, don't do this too often, eh? There you go. Okay, so the way it's supposed to work, the way it should work, is you get to somewhere and you just set it up. You can color it and then you use a little bit of perspective to make it look like the desk goes back. And then you've got all of your things. I'm going to finish. I think I'm going to draw a few more items. I think I want to add some shading to like around here. And that will be it. Until next time. Thanks.